the Good Samaritan says this is the spot where she saw those two toddlers. Look how close it is to this busy roadway. After she got out of the truck, that's when she noticed there was a third toddler over there by the fence crying, trying to get back in. Well, the cleanup is just underway, and the reason why the flooding was so significant is not only when the roof collapsed did you have that torrential rain from the storm flooding into the building, but it also broke a fire sprinkler, so you had a significant amount of water just rushing out of that pipe into this building. Take a look right now. You can see all the way right on the edge where that roof collapse happened, and it fell into the building right there. And not only did it damage that, but we also have some significant damage on this fire escape down here. And if we continue to tilt the camera down, you can see just the amount of brick that fell off this building during that roof collapse. Luckily, nobody was out here when that happened. These pastors told me today they'd much rather see this money go to projects like these tiny homes on the south side, but the city says the contract is necessary to find a long-term plan to combat homelessness. I'm Joe Galley, fishing along the shores of Lake Placid. This is as close as I can get to the water since this area is now a restricted zone, part of the new rules made up by the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority. It feels like 35 in downtown Bernie, and that's where you'll find news for Joe Galley there, kind of getting the pulse of the folks there. Joe, how are folks dealing with the cold there in Bernie? Well, Chris, maybe the city of Bernie should change its name tonight to the city of Bernie. Get it? Because it's cold. It's actually really chilly. I'm really happy that I've got these gloves and these earmuffs on. I've seen plenty of people who are walking around downtown braving the elements. 